Alrighty, well, good night, everybody. Um, well, it's um, uh, it's 11:41 p.m. where I'm at, and um, I've been uh, just playing a lot of Gems of War throughout the evening. Um, one of the reasons why, or let me before I get into it, let me see if I still got it. Where's it? Where's it? Where's it? Nope. So let me let me fix this real quick. So, um, I'm just going to throw on some more reliable, and hope to hell none of this music's going to be, uh, copyrighted, meaning my video is, my, my video will get copyright claimed by YouTube, but anyway, um, as I don't want to spend all night trying to find just the right music, just, again, I'm just going to go with this, uh, just some lo-fi hip-hop radio, so, just got to have that going in the background. Turn that down. Okay, so probably should have done this before I got this video started, but too late now. Okay, that's correct. Okay, so um, recently, let me go here. Okay, um, actually, it probably would be more accurate. Let me go here to the Soul Forge, where you can create troops. I recently... I acquired enough uh, resources to craft a, an Arachnian Weaver. So, I went ahead and made one of them. And this, and then I went ahead and... Uh, I just I just googled Arachnian Weaver just for some uh, team builds because I, I know next to nothing when it comes to comes to team building on this game mostly I'm having to rely on a guy named uh, DJ screw for guidance I think I created one of my own but it didn't really work out so well okay so let me so it's gonna be this here but I'm gonna go ahead and actually start a game that have seen my other videos you're probably going to be familiar with this it's just centering around blowing up gems uh, creating more mana uh, for the uh, other three but also I, I was supposed to have another I was supposed to have another character in here that actually works better but uh, yeah, somebody uh, I think it was one of the forums said you could use this as well so but the same thing here, blows up all the red gems, um, cleanse all allies. But what that what that means there is it dispels all their debuffs. And whenever you match four or five, it'll uh, it'll give somebody a random buff. And uh, let me see. Oh, I'm gonna have. Yeah, I'm gonna have to back out of this real quick because I need to show something else. And then the class I'm using is Titan. It's over reliable. Not special there. Yellow game one magic. Definitely want that one. Definitely want that one. Definitely want that one. So okay, but anyway, and then for banners, um, I don't I don't remember if I explained banners on another video. So I'll go ahead and explain how they work here. 
Um, they're just simply a bonus. Um, in this game here, whenever you match three, you get three mana. You match four gems, you get four mana, and you know you know the drill. And with these banners here, they give a bonus. Like um, if I match three brown, it's gonna add two for a total of five. I match uh, I match three yellow, I'll get a I'll get an extra ma extra yellow mana out of that. But on the downside. Uh, matching three purple oh, gives me one less for two, three, and four, respectively. But which is no big deal here because Arachne and Weaver guy, he's the only one that's going to need purple mana. So. Okay, so now uh, let's go back to battle. along anyway and then this one here her name's Luna and then she all blows up a random gem whenever you match yellow ones so and then um her trickster moon she deals she deals uh, damage to all enemies so if any of them are submerged she's been pretty much shut down the only reason why um I consider her, I kind of consider her better than the Queen Bee and Venoxia. Again, uh, for those that have seen my other videos will know what I'm talking about, but they uh, they deal uh, damage to all targets, which means any uh, any of my opponents that have Submerge will effectively shut those uh, characters down. Same thing here. But with her, you can either, you can either inflict, inflict uh, one or two status effects on all enemies or give all of us a buff one or two buffs so I mean I mean DJ screw might say otherwise I don't know he doesn't he doesn't know that I did this so but personally I find this ability to be more useful because at least you're getting something out of the deal whereas uh with the Queen Bee it's like a 50% chance of getting like either getting an extra turn or getting half their mana back but in my mind 50% means 0% so and then the big guy um this mate with stealthy which makes no freaking sense at all I mean look at how big the sucker is um not quite what I'd call stealthy uh, another game called Darkest Dungeon. It has monsters like that too. They're like big, fat, and huge. They're just big old massive. But yet, they can dodge your attacks. And they can also be stealthy. Like, really? Um, but the big draw of this guy. He's able to web all enemies. Uh, when you web them, their magic ratings are reduced to zero. Which means they deal zero magic damage. Or... Anything that goes off of their uh, anything that goes off their magic rating will be totally useless. They also deal 31 true damage. That's damage that ignores your armor. I mean, as I've said in my other videos, um, damage the way the damage works in this game is uh, all damage is taken from your armor first, and then your life. But true damage, however, bypasses the armor go straight to the light and if an enemy dies you'll explode 15 gems so there is a chance that um you might be able to continually cast this so. but this is uh i've only tested this out a few times so i figured um uh, i figured since i'm here I might also make a video about it so we'll start with yellow and as you saw there it blew up a gem over here when I matched three yellows. And so now that I have enough browns, but I have more reds instead, so. Blow them up. And also her ability. Remember, it, it dispels all their debuffs. Um, in Final Fantasy terms, cleanse is the same thing as Isuna. It uh, dispels the buffs. And it also. Uh, 
gives them 19 life as well. What am I going to do instead? That's, uh, that's Reflect. It uh, bounces back like 50% of uh, incoming damage. And this is Submerge right here. The brown, the, excuse me, the blue swirl. It makes them immune to attacks that affect all enemies, so. So, let's see here. What should I grab? I'll go with brown. Nice avalanche. And so, we're going to go ahead and use up. Uh, we're going to use that to web everybody. their magic is effectively zero and I need to check something here real quick okay so you guys can't see my cursor yep if, whenever you see an ability and if the number is pink that means it's variable it means it goes off your magic rating and now that he's webbed it's zero he's only gonna gain one attack and armor so He's gonna de gonna deal two stinking da two me or gonna deal a measly two damage to an enemy. So same thing here. All all allies give just one stinking armor. And and web it's no, webbing it's not perfect. Some abilities cleanse and bless an ally is just there it's a flat number. So, so I'm gonna throw her ability out there. Oh, that's um. Let me look down here real quick. Okay, that's why. I think she um. I think she casts this, which uh, blesses all the allies. Which um. I. We could dispel. probably have to look into that more but. so let's let's blow up some more red and brown this time Again. Recast that. Web them all up. And so let's walk the brown. <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right, so we'll go ahead and do one more.
Well, that kind of helped me a little bit. So we're all submerged. Oh, and um, as far as the uh, the buffs and debuffs go, um, the the one or two status effects, they're it's gonna be universal. They're they're all gonna get the same exact buff. Like in this case here, grant one or two status effects to all allies. It picked uh, the scene to pick submerged, so all four are gonna get submerged. go. We have him up. And he actually killed one of them, so he pretty much blew up the board. And they got cursed. I th think that's what that is. Either... Yeah, I... It's probably one drawback to this game is I kind of wish they would tell you exactly what debuffs they have. Okay, stun. Okay, so it does then. Thank God for controllers. Yeah, so they're webbed, cursed, stunned. So, in other words, the uh, web should stay on him for a while. Web her up again. That's got to be one of the dumbest abilities there, because she could also sacrifice herself to get a knight in her, in her place. Yeah. Okay, so... So, that's my build, uh, and I just wanted to do a demo on that. And I will probably continue on. And I'll just continue on. Oh, and I forgot to mention. Um, one of the biggest reasons why I'm making this video is because uh, this is going to save me a whole crap ton of time trying to, uh, trying to type all this out of my Final Fantasy XIV blog. In that case, it's just easier for me to make a video about it than to type out an essay about it. So, But otherwise, oh, thanks for watching, everybody. appreciate that. And I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.